Good afternoon and a warm welcome back to the refreshing point. I will be sharing with you how much acrylamide your coffee contains. Acrylamide is a chemical that may form in certain foods during high temperature cooking, such as frying, roasting, and baking. It is found primarily in potato-based foods, cereal-based foods, and coffee. For most people, coffee does not represent the greatest source of exposure to acrylamide. This often is more likely to come from things like fried potato products like french fries or baked bread. The bad news is that acrylamide is a proven carcinogen and if your consumption of coffee is high, then this might represent a significant problem. Acrylamide has been shown to cause cancer in lab rats and researchers from the Swedish Food Administration found in 2002 that unexpectedly high levels of the carcinogen were present in high carbohydrate foods. Apart from its carcinogenic properties, this compound has been also linked to nervous system and fertility disorders. Fortunately, there are ways to reduce these levels in your coffee. In 2002, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, released a comprehensive database listing various foods content of acrylamide. According to this list, it appears that there is a difference in acrylamide levels between the different brands, with Folgers and Taster's Choice being highest in the concentrations and Uban being by far the lowest. However, the content of acrylamide changes once the coffee is brewed. According to the same data list, Six brewed coffees were tested for acrylamide, and the numbers dropped significantly. They ranged from 5 to 11 parts per billion, compared to a range from 37 to 353. For example, the Starbucks Columbia is 163 parts per billion when it's not brewed, and after you make it, the concentrations become 7 parts per billion. That's almost a 96% reduction. A new study performed in 2017 tested nine popular coffee brands and found each and every one to contain undetectable levels of acrylamide. In Hong Kong, there was a risk assessment study performed in 2003 that indicated low amounts of acrylamide in brewed coffee also, 3 to 13 micrograms per kilogram. The average amount of acrylamide in a cup of coffee is 1.77 micrograms per serving. When the top-selling American fast food french fries were tested, they found that the average acrylamide level was 75.65 micrograms per serving. This means that a person would have to drink 43 cups of coffee to exceed the amount of acrylamide found in a large order of french fries. According to this information, Consumers should be concerned with many popular food products with elevated levels of acrylamide, but it appears that coffee should not be one of them. However, if you are still concerned, it is suggested to purchase darker roasted coffees, since tests have consistently shown that dark roasts are actually lower in acrylamide levels than beans that have been roasted in a regular manner. It is also recommended to drink brewed coffee versus espresso because most of this compound is in the ground bean. The problem with espresso versus brewed drip coffee is that you get more of the sediment in it, likewise for French press. In addition, try to choose Arabic coffee beans over Robusta beans, which contain somewhat higher levels of acrylamide. According to the FDA list, Uban 100% Colombian, Hills Brothers 100% Colombian, and Seattle's Best Medium Roast contain the least amounts of acrylamide. So if you love your coffee but are troubled about the amount of exposure to acrylamide that you are undergoing, then do consider the brand, type of roast, and method of preparing it carefully. While people have a right to be concerned about acrylamide in their food, the level of exposure in brewed coffee is limited. Thank you so much for watching. Good day and good health.